So, hey, everybody. As you know, the Gemini Scorpio podcast is still going on. Thank you so much to all of our supporters who have been sticking by us through all the transitions that we've had for the first half of 2021, which has been wild. Okay, so we just thank you guys so much for continuously just watching us, supporting us. I want to personally thank those who reached out and you was like, Shade, come back. You know, you guys really warm my heart. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to first start the show with saying thank you to all the original Gemini Scorpio podcast supporters. We definitely appreciate you. Um, I also want to shout out Jay and his boys for holding it down while I was gone. I was mad. I was hating. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> However, they did such a good job. So shout out to them and them moving it on to what is that shit called again? It's like, no, nah, I'm fucking with y'all. Ah, 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 I mean, y'all like this podcast. Y'all like this podcast. Okay. Y'all little, little podcast. Like, nah, that little shout out over to there. everybody on You May Not Like This Pod. Go watch it. You may not like it, but check it out for sure. Um, today, I'm super excited because I have three phenomenal ladies here with me. And we really want, you know, step in and do what we do. Period. So I definitely want to go ahead and <laughs> introduce them. And we'll go around the room. So I want to. Make sure they get a little, you know what I'm saying, entrance. Oh, so let's go ahead and go <laughs> around the room. Um, I'm Paris. Uh, I mean, I don't know what type of intros that we're doing, but um, <laughs> I'm a Virgo, repping for the Virgo yes, squad. Sir. Hey. Um, I, I guess we gonna get into personals later. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah. It is for what sure. it is. <laughs> what is giving? So I'm Diamond. Um, I be popping shit a lot of places. So. Back. You might have heard my voice before somewhere, somehow. <laughs> um, and I if you haven't, you about to. So yes. Hey. <laughs> what is given? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Like, no, I'm Jasmine, <laughs> a.k.a. Jay Butler, a.k.a. Juicy by Jay. Period. Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I'm Jasmine. I'm, I'm ready. I love y'all. Yes. Okay. Yes. I love so, them both. You know, and I, I, I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you because I was really actually strategic because I was like, yo, I love her personality. I love her personality. <laughs> I love it. And I was just like, it would just be dope to sit us in one room and just like, it, you know, just really we definitely came together yeah. like our small oh, yeah. amount like, of time. Like we've everybody, we've been doing this for a long time. Right. So right. I really appreciate each and every one it's of you guys. It's definitely giving chemistry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Right. these are my mm-hmm. sisters. Period. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um. So before we get started, I definitely want to shout out one of our sponsors today. We have a black-owned wine company, and it is Lamont Avenue. He gave us. Cute little bottles. This bottle is sexy gorgeous. Bottles. Yes, very nice. Those Bye bottles. Bomb. I'm really feeling it. Um, yes. This is a red wine. He gave us three bottles. Two reds, yes. one wine. You can find him at, at Lamont Avenue. You already know. This so we, 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 we gonna yeah. already, pop Let's pop this bottle before yes. we get started. Okay? Yeah. Listen, we got to get into uh, the black red. the black owned wine. Yeah, I'll do red. Yeah, we can, yeah, we I'm can go ahead red. and, and list I ain't going to lie. I'm going to fill the cup. fill the cup. She's very cute. Okay. She's oh, very oh I'm not even supposed to do that. See, Jay oh, said, oh, just move the I learned, light. I learned my lesson. Like, I'm so Real happy he's he not he down here to hurry. criticize us because he's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all doing too much. <laughs> Y'all doing too much. Let me try to slowly move it. Hold on. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch with you. I'm going to fill this joint up and switch. You're supposed to have I'm going to follow the actually, tutorial. <laughs> actually, we're talking, yeah, we're talking flat, about special flat. cups. However, I forgot your wine glasses. So these are actually Jay's cups. <laughs> but oh, I'm so sorry. We were supposed to have the cute big wine glasses. We'll take these cute tumblers. These you know, yeah. Yes. 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 Listen, yes. anything that holds yes. the wine will do. And anything that holds the wine will do. And, okay, I'm here for that. Listen, I'm here for I'm that. I'm cool with that. So... Before we get into the shits, you know what I'm saying? Because this is potting and, you know, I miss potting very much. So I'm just going to have to let this off before it gets started. Oh, she's very Because cute. I've yes. had a morning from hell due to mm. improper etiquette through. <laughs> sip to that, baby. When it don't mm. come out, just sip to that. Ooh. Yeah, Ain't she good. cute? That's what I good. said. Oh. Ooh. Okay, lady in red, go. you ain't have to pull through like that. Mm-hmm. Like that for us. Okay. Okay. It's nice mm-hmm. and sweet. So I had a, you know, I, I wanted to talk about this since, you know, it's the girls talking because I think the girls are unhappy with the hairstylist these days. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're of awesome. them. We got questions. We fed up. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Real bad. I just don't yeah. understand. Not only do we have to come with our hair washed, blow dried, our own product, our own you have you know to come with it done. I got to come Basically. done. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm late, you charge me a late fee. And all these things, but it's just like so. Where? What do I get if I, you know, if you ain't coming prepared? You know what I'm saying? I had a they're asked to kiss. That's what you get. 
<laughs> See, and I don't, you didn't know? It's written in the fine print on their website yeah, above their uh, above their acuity booking schedule. Yeah, yeah. And hey, then when you bring the extras, closet. no kids, no attitude, no gum, no food, <laughs> no hair, no, no nothing. Like, what? It's don't come, come in here with no hair because I don't do that. No, exactly. don't. Right. right. But book me, though. But book me. Book it in bio. Don't book me because it's, it's 2000 a week. Dollars. It's 2000 a wig. Don't come with edges. Don't come with low foreheads. Don't come with big forehead. Don't come with anything for me to do. Otherwise, <laughs> it's an extra fee. Like, what? yes. Uh, charge it's an extra fee for everything. For anything for me to do for me, because I. <laughs> I really feel like I experienced that today, and I'm like livid. Like, it's bad. So, first of all, my motherfucking hairstylist, when were you allowed to change your client's appointment and not let them know? That's mm. that's just bad form. I, that's for, <laughs> bad for your business. I mean, Yo, what? so they ain't reaching now. Like at this point, they're reaching. Like I'm tripping. No. So like I you're get like, confirmation. What you, what you have to know is she's the prize. <laughs> you you're just a baby, part of the show. I should have had no hair. It's, it's what giving. You what are you bringing to the table? <laughs> like I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what are you bringing to the it's table? Giving, what are you bringing to the table? Because like, they... I'm bringing the cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> is your hair clean? <laughs> Is it blow dry? <laughs> because I don't understand. I'm really because that's what it's given, and I don't understand. It's like I just get this random confirmation. My appointment's at eight a.m. Okay, eight a.m. I get this random conversa- uh, conversation conversation <laughs> confirmation email at like six o'clock. Like such and-, and such moved your appointment to, and I'm like, she ain't even talk to me. But whatever. I said, you know what? Cool. I get there. Sis, not even there for the appointment. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna give her, you know, 15 minutes because you know our grace period be like one minute, mm-hmm. 0.45 seconds, if that, and <laughs> it's a fifty then I'm late you. fee at that at a minute. Your so deposit every will minute be after it. This, yeah, <laughs> your <laughs> deposit will be forfeited. It's not transferable. You'll have to pay a new one for your new schedule. <laughs> exactly. Appointment. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna just give her 15 minutes. So 15 minutes go by. So I'm like, let me DM her. No answer. But when I went to Yo, go DM just- her. When I went to go DM her, her story popped up. Yo, shorty out while it last night. 20, 40 shots. So I'm like, you're not even discreet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, I can't even fake give you empathy. Like, you know, okay, maybe something An happened. emergency happened. I yeah. hope she's okay. It's giving, Rose Bar, is, it's giving Rose Bar Friday. Yo, it was twerking, twerking shots. I said, oh, this bitch is drunk. This bitch is drunk. That's why she's not at my appointment. And I'm oh, angry. Whoever I'm she is, we just can't take a shots together last night. We were rooting for you. We were, we were rooting for you. We were oh, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that definitely gives that toxic. scene. The yes. issue is you should have managed your business and not been on her story. <laughs> because again, <laughs> but you're, she's the, the prize. Listen, you're I'm just there the, to give her your coin. And, and that's it. And, and be she, happy she, with what she does. It's just and the audacity it. to make it that clear. Because that's how I felt. I felt yeah. like, what you think, I'm pussy? Like, so you I know what it gives? It gives. <laughs> Who want to check me, boo? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. how I felt. Like, no. And she and said, that, "Yeah, it, exactly." And it's like you and. didn't even put it on your close friends. It was just like, and I'm not there, so like, and it's like, okay. So I'm like, wow. So I call her, no answer. So I'm like, livid in the car. I'm like, oh wow, bitch, the audacity. <laughs> I go out. Her other clients in there. Oh, you waiting for her too? Oh. I'm like, oh, oh no, oh, certainly not. Oh, everybody, me my deposit it all weekend because thinking, man. <laughs> Oh, the nobody's hands are being swayed. Oh, y'all can wait. I'll uh, be there when I get there. You know what it was given? It was given sis didn't pop the BC before she started drinking. Exactly. Right. And that, that was water just the key. dehydrated. That was the that's first the key. She was dehydrated. Mm. She was mm-hmm. tired mm-hmm. in the morning. One thing I'm going to do is drag my ass yeah. to wherever I have to and go. And that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. be super apologetic. Yeah. Especially when in the business. Because it's an audacity right. for me. I am me. So no apology. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. To this second, this was seven hours ago, I have not received a call. Damn. A text. Damn. Hey, I'm so sorry. Damn. I overslept. She's embarrassed. Damn. Damn. No deposit bag. Damn. So I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Double homicide. <Yeah. laughs> like, Double Damn. Homicide. You feel what I'm saying? She so I ain't gonna lie. Now. After this podcast, I'm especially after these bottles of wine. We might I'm have to go like check Aaron, Aaron, yeah. at this point. <laughs> Man, it happened to me out. before too. A girl had me sitting in my car for hours. She never said anything. I'm like, hello, hello. She like, oh my bad. But and she was doing hair out of her apartment. And she was like, you could come up now. I'm about to put my son to bed. Uh, <laughs> no, <thank> you. <laughs> you had me get up you. for a 7 a.m. appointment for this That's bullshit. That's why you got to exactly. find somebody and just stick with them. It's my, giving what, reputable. What my best friends, I swear, be like, 
uh, well, I'll talk to <laughs> two different points. <laughs> one of my best friends just be trying different people and be disappointed every yeah, single yeah, time. Yeah. I yeah. have one braid that I use, yeah. braids by Jackie. I'm going to plug yeah, her real okay. quick. Jackie. Loyal I her to braids. Me. Loyal yes. because I her braids and she fire for real. Hopping around will get your feelings hurt yes, every, time. every time. And you know what's crazy? I have a signature hairdresser, but I ain't going to lie, Shorty. Is popping, so she be booked. So I ain't gonna. Yeah, lie. I'm gonna take some accountability. I'm gonna take some accountability. Like I'm gonna take some accountability. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I'm since day one. I'm down. <laughs> Just look out for me. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna take some you accountability can't though. Me in. Uh, that's me. That's me. I'm the MV. You just can't squeeze nothing on Friday. Nothing. I come so, before after, <laughs> after hours. I swear. I'll be there. To crack a dawn. Exactly. Like I was today. Exactly. And nobody was there. Damn. However. <laughs> What I will say is I'll take some accountability. I okay. am the most last. I mean, I change my hair like all the time. So I ain't gonna lie. I I might want to be motherfucking Eve today. I might want to be Nicki Minaj tomorrow. I so I'm like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm that. not the best at really planning my hairstylist out in advance. And, you know, I'm happy for them. Yeah. They book, they busy. The girls Absolutely. is getting their coins. Absolutely. But goddamn, y'all making it hard for us. Yes. It's given like, in January. July books now open. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It's not time for that. So, yeah. Hey, like this weekend, at least like, by the end of the week, something oh. like at least train some proteges up to give us some resources right. no, you know? because they need every four hundred and fifty dollars from every wig. Right. And so oh, true, they need yeah. all their coins. Your head will have to wait. Like. You're sure. gonna look a mess. Okay, Until July. Honestly, it's the overcharging Kayla for me. Slayla, then, y'all. Oh no, but Kayla, honestly, Kayla let's both Slayla. plug her because she's bomb. Yeah, Kayla, so even Kayla. Gonna gonna I bet you if I go to her fucking so book, yeah. she's but gonna be booked. Her customer like, service is no. at least. Oh exactly. no, it's top impeccable. notch. Like, and she washes hair. She got wash yes. bowls in her so, spot. Okay. And she got a new salon, Black Wax Bar. Yes. So. Okay. And she gonna serve you some stuff for the skins yes. and all the rest of the things. So yeah, we can go to check I her love out. all the plugs for my black queen. Shout out to my original stylist, Kendall Bowen. You already know what it is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because when you find somebody that know what you to know. do, what you're trying to get them to do. And the customer mm-hmm. service is A1. Like, and want me to tell honestly, want me to tell you what the worst thing is, is when you wait long, you book out in advance, you think I'm being responsible. Yes. You go get and your hair hair done and then after you leave out you in a car like this yeah, yeah. yes yeah. yes yeah <laughs> trying to create that and you're gonna like, relay like, everything yeah girl that was trying to relay like, the wig trying to pull it up pull it back clean adhesive yes. uh-uh oh, it's bad oh oh Speaking of accountability. The plight uh, of a black woman. Because we got yeah, a lot definitely. of fights as black women. We do. Okay? We have a lot yeah. of fights. We got a lot of fights. Like this I, I should like fight that I feel like you about to box me yeah. with right now. Uh, what? Yeah. what you about to uh, say? Uh, speaking of accountability. <laughs> account? Because, you know, I'm perfect. Account? And I, I'm perfect and I don't really do that. Uh, <laughs> we already know okay. this. Okay. I'm perfect. I, I don't really do that. Wait, what's your sign? Oh, I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio, obviously. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm a Scorpio. So, you know, y'all. <laughs> I love Scorpios, though. I'm Aquarius. I'm a Scorpio moon, I, though. Okay. I'm a Libra, and I always be like, oh, what's your sign? And think I, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I just don't know what you're saying. You need on this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think we compatible. Right. Exactly. That's us. You know what I mean? I think this meme was like. <laughs> I don't care what sign you is. You gonna give me some head <laughs> or not? Or not? Nah, nah, nah. Are you gonna pay these bills? I need Are you some gonna... head and some more support? Right? Okay. Yeah. Like, listen, Fuck your sign. I don't care what you sign you is. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of, is your sign of... money sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh, at this point, okay. Okay. Can you pay? Bring me? a cashier's check for the. Price. <laughs> I can't show the cashier's because it's given. It's I given need... the proof because it's given. You know they. James Harden paid 100K for a sweetie date. So I was like, Listen, I need the bank letterhead at the top. Mm. Whatever you're sending me, don't send me shit. Energy. 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 That's a good story. (laughs) Now let's call that. That That's no scammers for me. (laughs) Look, look, Mm -mm. that sounds good. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. That's the problem right right now. Why we need some fucking accountability. accountability. Where's the gavel? Mm. Like, (laughs) accountability, y'all. Because, okay, so I came I'm to this ready. topic. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know, we about to read us real quick, sis. Because, you know, I came to this term because, you know, just to catch, you know, some of y'all up, you know, uh, some of our, well, all of our Gemini Scorpio podcast supporters know now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jay for putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jay and I did separate for some time and I stepped down from the podcast just to really get myself together. You know, I didn't want to be up here 
you know, feeling ways and mm-hmm. potting and now I want to say some slick shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or I just don't want to say anything at all. So right. it kind of fucks up the authenticity of yeah, the show, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I took some time and also to heal, you know, from things we were going through because it's a real fucking relationship. We go Absolutely. through real shit like everybody else. It's a you real know? thing. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. It's really fucking real. <laughs> it's really real. I actually wish it was fake. <laughs> it's really, really real. No, I feel that. 100. Like, I wish it was a little some bit of synthetic. Listen, in you, there. Know, you know, we locked in. I yeah, already okay. know. So. You know, I um, you know, I took some time off. You know, uh, shout out to Jay because he, you know, he definitely held it down with his accountability on the men's side. He came in was like, I fucked up, y'all. and that means a lot. And it, it does, is, it does so much. You know, however, you know, through our healing process, you know, what I did learn is, you know, I like f- that healing process. Healing, I like that. our reconciliation mm-hmm. period. Exactly. You no, know, for real. <laughs> through our healing process, mm-hmm. you know, I had to really come to terms with things. So, and I really was thinking about like how. You know, men do be fucking up. Mm-hmm. However, there are some contributes that yeah. we do yeah. have. Yeah, I had to. I can't relate. <laughs> I couldn't even finish. <laughs> can't relate. Cause Cause Jess, Jess, she said, I can't relate. <laughs> no, I was at Jazz. Jazz was me. like, mm, wait, I was not me. You was like, oh, you mm-hmm. was like yeah. <laughs> it went that way. I couldn't even finish because I was like, she, uh, she's already like, no. <laughs> like, where are we going with this? I'm not going to speak for all the ladies, right? I'm not going to speak for all the ladies. And you know, please tell me, right? I had to really sit down and I had to really like, you know, so there were some things that, you know, have been told to me multiple times. I ain't going to lie okay. that I had to really sit on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some things were like, I ain't going to lie. I'm putting myself out there. You think you better than everybody. Mm. You think you hot shit. Mm. Like, I do think really highly of myself. Should, yeah. I do. As like, and I, I don't disagree. It is no, yeah. It's no disrespect to <laughs> nobody. No. I speak very highly of myself. However, subconsciously, sometimes it can come off that ways in instances where it's not needed. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, understood. Especially when you have a man and sometimes it can like come off like exam, like. And they delicate. Wh- and they're so delicate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Girl. the word we're going to use. I like that word. They delicate. Very delicate. It's a delicate flower. It yes. likes yeah. dainty. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Dainty. Cactuses. Girl, so. Dainty. <laughs> Cactuses. Girl, so. We took it too far. We took it too far. <laughs> I'm crying. We just joking. We're just kidding. We just joking. Exactly. We just joking. So it brings me to the topic because I was coming to all these terms like, damn, bitch, your shit stinks sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you got some shit with you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you want to act like, you know, because what I was doing is whatever I was hurting from whatever Jay did, I was overlooking the things that I was doing to hurt him. Got you. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I think that's normal. Yeah, and it's definitely right? It happens. It happens. It's a coping mechanism for sure. It is. Yeah. 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 It is. And I think sometimes, like, as we're doing it, though, like, you know, you want to be mad at what you're mad at, and then you're doing more things to be like, nah, because I want you to feel how I I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the time, it doesn't take away from the fact that we're wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're wrong. Ooh, like, that hurt. Ooh, it don't hurt. just you do like a uh, shiver down like, your spine. I don't like to admit it. All right, uh, cheers uh, to that. Honestly. Cheers to that. We felt we, that. We, we felt, felt that. that. Cheers to yeah. that. Oh, okay. Wait. Gotta move the microphone. <laughs> cheers to that. You know, I had to read those one time, sis. Hold on. But you know what? I you know what? Really cheers. What I will <laughs> really... Exactly. This was involuntary. <laughs> no, what I will say is that I would have to agree with that. And you know what? I'm going to say something that I just feel like is very on trend right now, which should have already, already been on trend. Yeah. What, is therapy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 100%. Okay. Yes. So aside from the fact that, like, therapy for a lot of people is very, like, faux pas, like, uh, you know, therapy, um, it's not real. It doesn't work. Yada, yada. That's a lie. Yeah. Yes. I think that's because people don't do the work. If you do the yeah. work, then it works. Mm-hmm. If you just yeah. say, oh, you telling somebody something, you, if you're just venting and you're not actually doing any work, then of right. course it's not. It's yeah. not you're just work. venting. Like, you're exactly. just talking. So what I will say is I agree because my therapist, I was talking to her and I was like, look, girl, like this is how I'm feeling. Like it's not adding up. Like make it make sense. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I don't like it. It's not. So if I don't like it, it's over. Yeah, I'm not doing yeah. the work. And she was like, well, tell me you feel that way right and I was like well I feel that way because this and that and whatever else and if I say it then it goes because I always give everybody else what they want she was like well whose fault is that is it Mm. their fault that you give too much or is that your fault oh oh you know you are rude Rude. 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 How dare you tell me about myself? Exactly, right? And so I feel like 
that's the accountability part yeah. too. Because yeah. sometimes you be mad at people for stuff. Like even when it's good stuff that you're doing, if it's like detrimental to your well being, mm-hmm. yeah, and you're adding to your detriment yeah. by allowing people to do fuck shit, yeah, that's your fault. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. And it's hard to be like, well, he wouldn't have did it if you ain't, yeah. or she wouldn't have did it if you yeah. ain't, or they yeah. wouldn't have did it if you yeah. ain't say yeah. it was okay. Yeah. yeah, you said it was okay because look right. at your behavior. Right. Exactly. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. So yes. you kind of be wrong when you do good stuff, right. and sometimes you be wrong. Wrong when you do bad stuff. stuff. Yes, right. That's Absolutely. So fucking true. It's That's hard a good to point. be accountable so and I'm say. Gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on the spot because. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear. I hear. I hear. I'm not and sure. I'm so glad. Like, 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 no, like, it's like, oh, maybe I do need to go to therapy. <laughs> Cause Cause it's never, I was never. Because I was never the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad Jazz gets to go last with this because I can't wait to see her answer. So. Accountability moment because I just think it's super important, you know. And it's so funny because when I was thinking about this podcast, I was like, "Yeah, this is definitely a don't pick me, bitch." Like, cause it's not yeah. a it's Uh-oh. not a pick me right. type of feel. It's don't pick me, bitch. Right. So I wanted to ask. Well, first, how well do you own your shit in your in your situations, relations, these things? How well do you own your shit? I would say it's fifty fifty. Okay. Mm. Maybe 64. (laughs) Because I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, it's half and half because it's not. And when I carry an attitude, like, I might tell you it's nothing for a long time. And then, obviously, afterwards, I might do a drum line and be like, you know, this is what. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny how. Here's the list. Here's the list. It's right here. Um, But I definitely say 60-40 because it does take a lot to take accountability in yeah. the first place and admit that you're wrong. Yeah. Um, but I don't like to admit yeah. that I'm wrong. Yeah. And yeah. even in the cases that I do admit when I'm wrong, I'm still probably going to <laughs> subconsciously be like, no, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> it was me. You just yeah. misunderstood. Like, yeah, yeah, when yeah, I'm wrong, I could have like so I'm still right. Maybe I need yes. to say it another way. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you understand. You're not understanding yeah. Me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But, um... It's a hard task. It is. is. You know, especially being in a a relationship. Yeah, it is. That's a a very big girl task. That's a very mature thing to do. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm still childish, y'all. Like, you know, as much (laughs) as I be like out here grown, like I have a lot of childish ways. Like, and when it comes to like shit, nah. Our childish ways keep us safe. Yeah, but I feel like it also keeps Mm -hmm. me into my inner child. (laughs) Yeah, that's how that's how we keep them. Like I wanna grow. It's very toxic, but it's giving (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's what it's giving. It's giving. Why should I be vulnerable so you can be saved? Sure. <laughs> you gotta keep a little bit of that. Yeah, yes. just a little. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's fun. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. How, how well do you sit in your shit? Hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like I am somewhat evolved at this point in my life. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I feel I like you evolution. Yeah, I feel like you know. I used to be very avoidant. Yeah, yeah. To my shit, like. Yeah. I'm talking about date the wrong man because I low key really don't want to be committed. Avoided. Okay. Okay. So like, okay, you know yeah. how you be like, I yeah. want a relationship. Right. So why you don't pick the boys that you know really right. going to give you one? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just mm-hmm. go pick. Mm-hmm. I used niggas. to be real bad avoiding. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then be mad at them like, you just don't want anything serious for me. Uh, ma'am. Right. But I told you that. <laughs> you knew that ma'am. man was trash. You, ma'am. <laughs> you knew that man was trash. Ma'am. Like, own up. <laughs> I feel like now I'm more. Um, kind of aware yeah. of yeah. the stuff that I'm doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of, I have these moments where I'm like in the shower and I'm like, so stop playing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you bought this on yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. But I feel like with accountability. It takes a lot to do that. Yeah. And I feel like with any level of accountability, there needs to be forgiveness though. Yes. yes. Because yes. people yes. don't talk yes. enough about the balance. And I right. think that's why they don't account for shit. But yeah. also forgiving yourself, too. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Yeah. That's, the, yeah. that's the part, because people don't give you enough information on that. Right. They'll say you need to be accountable for your stuff. But it's hard to be accountable for something, and you don't offer yourself grace after. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because it feels like you're beating yourself up, and the world is already beating you up. Right, and you, know, you don't need it from yourself. I was just about to say that, and it's crazy because a lot of times, you know, we're stripping us, ourselves from all this grace yeah. and everybody else already yeah. wants to see us they do that. Like, yeah, us you're down. wrong, you're wrong, you're yeah. wrong, you're wrong. Yeah. It's like, if they're not going to give it to you and yeah. you don't give it to you, who's going to give it to you? So you yeah. have to give it to yourself. And, and, that's, like, and that's basically my style. Like, when I realize that I'm doing something wrong, I mean, which I really do. It's like, I'm just like <laughs> But when I do do good. things wrong, I think because I am so aware that also makes me very anxious because mm-hmm. I'm always yes. looking for, okay, what should I do better? What yeah. do I do? Yeah. 
whatever. And you can't really live life like that, right? Right. right. So now I'm learning to let go a little bit and yes. I just kind of yes. live. And I feel like when I do things and I, I catch on, I be like, you wouldn't want anybody to do that to you. Right. Yeah. Right. Or right. you're right. holding that right. person to a standard, but did you really give them right. the blueprint right. of what yeah. you were expecting? Because right. I think that for a exactly. lot of women, that's we be like, you're supposed to do this. Right. Yeah. A man's yeah. supposed to do this. Yeah. If I'm dating you, I'm expecting this. But, but did you have that conversation? Yeah. Right. But, did did I mean, that man sign up for that? If he if he can't read my mind, then I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because seriously, but like, though, like, listen, why can't you know what I'm reading? thinking? Listen, and that's what we listen all need. <laughs> and and you know what that that conversation I had with myself actually broke my heart because yeah. I was actually talking. I said, "Wow, you're mad at somebody for doing some shit you didn't even tell them you needed done." Right. Mm. And mm. that child, I said, Sna- stung you. I said, stung you. Yeah. Bad. look like at yourself, though. Yeah, because you, 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 you got lost in translation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, you just human. expect it. You know, yes. it's crazy. My mom recently said this to me, and it really, like, was so, like, I needed to hear that. Mm-hmm. My mom, 60-some-odd years old. Oh, that's, that's that wisdom. Jamaican mm-hmm. lady. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She came here when she was 34, so she's oh, very late oh, wow. to the game. Yeah. She's 60. She was like, you know, and my mom lit, y'all. Shout out to the Don. Listen, my mom's lit. She said to me, she was like, for so long, so all my life, I was winging it. And I never was honest that I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. She was like, but I didn't. And that's a she realization. Was like, she was like, I would, but I was winging it. I didn't know any better. I didn't know. She was like, all my, all my life. And I was like, damn, here we are. We want to be arrived and grown and at the end of point. But we like, don't know what literally, the fuck we're doing. Nobody knows what the nobody, fuck they're doing. We all nobody. Like, I We're saw a literally post. learning it we by all day. We, we all winging it. Listen, like, yeah. I saw a post on Instagram and a girl was so like, I'm not trying race. to be 30, trying to figure it out. Who going to tell her that Who? you just now started to figure it out? Go ahead. Get the head. Head. Sweetheart. Listen, Drink to that. She's probably 19. To she's probably young people 16. Who did that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like. Miss <laughs> Butler. <laughs> what? Tell us. <laughs> How long do you want that shit? Okay, so. <laughs> When it well, first of all, I feel like I'm a very thoughtful person, so I try that's to be. That's a Libra be, for you. Yeah, Libra. You don't know much about signs. That's a Libra. I try to be super thoughtful with the decisions that I make, how I interact with people, and stuff yeah. like that. I feel like with my friends, I'm super accountable. Did I do something to hurt you? Yeah, I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm the same and way. Like so that. important. This is how and I that's feel. Very and I feel like all of my friends are evolving. They're all going to therapy. We've yeah, all mm-hmm. grown up together, yes. so it's nothing that we can't discuss. Yes, right. That's amazing. When you can, I feel like sidebar to what you said, Jay. These that's very men. good. I'm With proud of y'all. These because niggas, if you can't discuss say. things with your friends, y'all not friends. Real shit. Yeah. Yes. And most Real of my yes. friends are Because lightly. even if I'm wrong, I should be able to come to you and say, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 And y'all should yes. still be yeah. able to be and friends. Be able to... So I'm very proud of you yeah. and your friend circle. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We are, we are, and our friendships are like relationships. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You have to work people with them. People don't realize that. People don't realize that. That's very important. But with these niggas, with, with with the men, <laughs> with these niggas, like, I'm just like, we, we get a different story. story. We it's turn a different story page. because I have been in so many situations where I have, like, again, I'm the type of person that I'm always going to reflect on myself. What did yeah, I do? Like, yeah. it's the awareness. For you me. know what I'm saying? What yeah, did I do? Yeah. Why did, is he upset because of something that I did? Yeah. But you get like with these men that's so toxic and like make you feel like you did something wrong and try to the hold narcissistic you accountable. And then you didn't for even something do you did not nothing do. do. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, I have to agree yeah. real heavily with you on that because you know what it be? Their insecurities mm. be projected. Mm. Yeah. Like, how dare you make me feel like less of a man because I felt like less of a man when you started liking me anyway. So Ooh! I just been faking this whole entire time. Ooh! How Ooh! dare you, you make so me feel like well, so loud. Oh well, my well, damn. God. How dare you make me feel like I can't provide for you because really I can't. Right. You Maybe are, I can buy you some shit, but I can't give you what you really need exactly. as a woman. I can't so for why you. would you ever call me out? You know what? I don't want to be with you no more. You know what? I want to cheat. Exactly. These men be all they that fucking rockers. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them. A lot of them, though. They be crap. You know? Yeah. Crap yeah. that you smoke. Ain't no, it's it's crack. Crack. Like, is it crack? Yes. Is it crack? Is it crack? What is it? I gotta agree it's with you. Mess. And you know what? That's why we ain't never wrong, period. It's the accountability. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's, it's no, confusing for me when you put like that yeah. in the same yeah. sentence. Yeah. We can't, mm-hmm. And you know it's crazy because, like, you know. Like, even in this, like, the midst of accountability, it's, like, it's so hard. And it's, like, a line that you have to teeter because it's such we, a thin line. Yeah. A thin line you because you, we don't want to, yeah. we don't not, also want to yeah. be a pushover or yeah. a runover. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Even in the line of being accountable. Yeah. It's, like, okay. However, I do think a lot of men have a hard time acknowledging what it really is to what they want to believe it is. Like, they'll hold a level of accountability, mm-hmm. but they ain't going to say what it really is, like shit like that. Oh, like, they're going to oh, make up whatever so story ins- makes them sleep at night. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. they're going to do. I mean, I feel like 
as I get older, I stop taking things personally. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. you know, before yeah. when you were younger, you like, but me, though, you would do this to me right. after everything that right. I've done or provided or been for you. I would yes. never do this yes. to you. You would do that to me. It's not you, baby. It's yes. their own battles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's another thing that therapy taught me. Like, you can hear your friends tell you it's not you, friend. Like, yeah. I love you, friend. Like, yeah. it's not All you. I would tell you if yeah. you were wrong, whatever. But you like, that's just my friend. They just love yeah. me. But when you hear a objective person that's yeah. neutral yeah. tell you, so do you, why mm-hmm. do you, why are you taking responsibility for somebody else's projection? You're like, exactly. ding, ding, yeah. wait, like, this exactly. isn't me. Am I crazy? Yeah. And like my mother said, sometimes you just have to accept that people are not yet on your level. Mm-hmm. What you do with that information is up yeah. to you. If yeah. you stay and grow with that person, yeah. as long as they are growing, that is your choice. Right. Yeah. And it's so crazy because yeah. I, I want to touch in on that too, yeah. because I do think like, you know, because I, I do I do think each man each each man deserves a level of discernment. You kind of got to know oh, yeah. what man yeah. you're dealing with, right? Yeah. So you have your men your you have your men that are like super toxic, hold no accountability, the trash one, don't throw them away, give a fuck, like they gonna <laughs> keep doing it, garbage, garbage. Like that. gonna keep Hot doing it garbage. over and over <laughs> over. They gonna come crying doing all the most and they're gonna go do it again in a week yeah. and then you got men who are doing the same thing but they show effort yeah and they're like i'm trying yeah i'm a nigga though yeah yeah and i'm trying yeah and it's like this line like okay you gotta draw your line like, like, you know what, like, no. what is it giving Let like what is it something. giving this is what it's giving <laughs> at this point this is what i think it's giving because things might change in six months mm-hmm. but at this point <laughs> yeah i like that right and, and i'm, I'm always yeah. i always give myself I love that for you. Say, yes, well, I'm like, that yes. was my mind. Yeah. That way and now. that's right. absolutely okay. I have more information. Okay. You know what I mean? I feel like at this point in my life, it's giving. They can only give you what they got. Mm. If they that. didn't get that shit, how are they going to give it to you? Mm-hmm. I feel like if we're being realistic, like mm-hmm. super realistic, like it's not glamorous being realistic. Trust me, it's not. Yeah. Okay. I wish that it were. Yeah. It was. But it's, yeah. Not, yeah. it's not at all. What's real anymore? But if we're being yeah. realistic, we got a lot of dudes that's raised. They mamas don't tell them that they love them. Yeah. They, mm-hmm. they daddy's not around. Yeah. Or if they yeah. are around, they just yeah. beating them up and telling yeah. them what to do and where yeah, they like, they're they're trauma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They don't have any like emotional foundation right. or safety yeah. in you emotion. Know, I, I, that's mm-hmm. true. I think it was J. Cole I heard the other day and he was like, I never had nobody give me a foot rub, rub my back. Yeah. No, nothing. Affection. So like affection in any way. So then you think about it like if a man does doesn't have affection and never felt it. But how they gonna want me to tell you what happened? Self sabotage. So you, they run across some girl yeah. who mama told her, "I love you," or "You pretty," or mm-hmm. "You doing that motherfucker, baby," mm-hmm. or "I'm proud of you," or whatever. Yeah. And they come and they, cause guess what? Like you said earlier about the inner child, we all just repeating yeah. everything that we ever learned, a collection Absolutely. of everything mm-hmm. that yes. we ever learned until yeah. we unlearn some of that shit, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So if we come to the table with good stuff and we like. I love you, so I'm going to shower you in all the love that I know, yes. right? Because mm-hmm. that's all relationships are, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. right. And you like rubbing the legs <laughs> and you like, baby, I love you and I'm yeah, proud of yeah, you or whatever. Yeah. You know what they're going to say? This bitch must be, something must be yeah. defective with this bitch. Yeah, because he don't right. experience right. Right. Yeah. Something's exactly. wrong yeah. with something her. Wrong. She mm-hmm. wants something Because my me. own mother didn't show me yeah. that, so she must be defective. Let me, let me, let me drag my nuts. I feel like that's what goes through their head. So when you find somebody they're like, I'm gonna still drag my nuts because this all I know and I'm not changing. Trash, mm-hmm. garbage. Like <laughs> garbage. Garbage. Huh? But when you meet poop, you like, oh, hold the fuck on. I gotta just stop this right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I wouldn't even be the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Real quick, it yeah. was a women accountability. And then it turned into oh, trash. Yes. 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 I just want to tie it back in because I feel like garbage. That's garbage. <laughs> Basuda. But when you have the good guys, guys, when you have the good guys that show accountability. So, so let me ask a question. Because do, the men have to be accountable yeah, too. Like right. we're working, doing all these things to change ourselves we are doing and work on ourselves and be self-aware and be, you know, give them yeah. so much grace, which we're going to do yeah. that yeah. naturally. Yeah. 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 But again, that thing. Do you think they line. don't give us as much grace as we give them? No. No. Absolutely no. not. It's a double standard. Double standard. That double I'm standard. Here and pop my pussy for a nigga on camera. Even if I'm just dancing in the club. You think I'm going to get a... I didn't like that. Let's talk about it when you get home. Yeah. But that's what Whatever. they want. That's you know what, what I'm going to get? No. You know what, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get, you don't respect us. You out get wild and you embracing me, my friend. Yes. yes. That's what I'm going to get. Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. But then no, but then they do it. Just come talk to me. I wasn't there. That wasn't me. And then they come. And next time you just come talk to me. You don't got to do that to me. Talk yeah. to me so. Like, see, it's the you attitude. Really, you always agree with me. See, that's why I can't talk to you because you always overreact. 
Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Who's it's not that oh, it's it's not with that this. serious. Yeah. No, all I'm gonna say is I feel like niggas, the ladies is tired. We we very tired. They're tired. tired. It's giving and exhaustion. they wanna hold and we wanna hold accountability. However, I think it's a larger population of men not doing the right thing yes. than are doing the right thing. Yeah, so absolutely. you wanna give credit to the men that are accountable, that are doing what it is. But and we and we appreciate you guys. And we do. But when you're experiencing so many men that are not doing the right thing, this is what you're leaving off on women. So you'll get these women in one room and they'll be like, nah, because like, period. And yes, I think that yes. that's the issue with the accountability thing yeah. that I feel like all of us are basically saying in a nutshell, it's hard to be accountable when you don't give grace because mm-hmm. when you don't give grace, you are shameful. Yes. You feel like, dang, I'm always wrong. I'm not good enough. Mm-hmm. This is a problem, right? Yeah. Black men be they be wa- like they be waiting in a lot of shame, yeah, and they don't show that shit because yeah. their parents made them feel ashamed, yes, mm-hmm. of yes. whatever issue or whatever thing. Because we always have childhood trauma, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So they're scared to just be like, you know what? I was wrong. What can I do to fix right. that? Because in their mind, they probably envision it as a smack on the top of the head yeah. and they get the fuck out yeah, or they yeah. be better next time. Yeah. It's it's giving traumatic in their head. Yeah. So you know what they do? I'm not wrong. That's you. And you know what? I'm leaving yes. because I can't be around people that make me be wrong. I'm out of here. <laughs> they, they do shit like that. So I feel like accountability is Question, easy. Okay, yeah, so what about do you, grace? Do you feel like you ever done that though? Have I ever really done that? Like, I have you ever been in a situation where you were dead ass wrong instead of taking full accountability in that moment, you was like, you know what, I'm out because like you got me fucked up and you I'm know my what? shit because you know what, honestly. I'm embarrassed to say this, but no. I wish that I had. <laughs> I'm always the person that shows up fair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate it because I don't like that. I want to be the yeah. person in the wrong. I want to be toxic yeah. sometimes because yeah. I feel like sometimes a toxic person comes out on top. I feel like yeah, I'm toxic. Yeah. You know, I like, was, my uh, name is, I mean, I, like, I have my moments for sure. Let me make this disclaimer because I know a lot of people are like, but your name is Hillary Bay. How are you toxic? Because I'm very aware of my light just as much as I am of my dark. Okay? Oh, and I, I respect need to that. Understand yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, you know, they want it to be all rainbows and sprinkles and unicorns, whatever. Yeah. That's not but reality. Baby, that's not reality. Yeah. You can't have like wild dark. No. So, okay. What some about the other side? There, there are some yeah. men, and I've experienced this, that are over apologetic for the things that they do. Oh, and that's annoying. Wait, you said men or women? Men. Men who apologize. Like, you call them out on their shit. They apologize after they make an excuse. They realize the excuse not gonna fucking work. Yeah, and then they but apologize that's the part for it, I but then go back and do the same thing yeah. again. The so part I hate is like, that they tried you, and when it didn't work, they yeah. untry you. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. like, okay, yes, you're you're yeah. taking accountability for the shit that you did, but you're wrong, not taking responsibility. But you're not. Yeah. Yes. And you're that's not what it is. Changing. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that's yeah. the difference. Yeah. 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 A really Don't be sorry with nothing. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Because you have the ones that would be like, "Baby, I'm so sorry." They'll lay out oh, the whole red carpet. You be like, we back mm-hmm. good now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two yeah. weeks later, you see the same shit. That you was like, me. Wow. Yeah, I swear. Okay. I got we me all been there. Yes. We all been there. Up. Yes. You know. Uh, you know, I'm going to pop this second. We need. We listen. 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 I'm not giving, but I'm going to pop right this second. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, I, me and Hiller, I think we're going to run through these. Oh, yeah, yeah. They asked me a pair of upstairs. Y'all think y'all gonna need all four? I said, mm, the I, man. Uh, <laughs> so, so, I, you know, because the you know they gonna want to know, and you know what I'm saying. I got some beautiful ladies up here, and I definitely want to give credit where it's due. So you know they want to they gonna want to know. So let me just put this out there. What's your relationship status? I was taken. It's taken. I was taken. taken Hopper. Diamond. <laughs> Same. I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> Clearing up the throat oh, for me. Let, let me be clear. Yes. I am single. Period. I'm very Come okay. on. Only okay. eligible bachelor. Okay. So, all right. So I, I had a, you know, it's, it's a few reasons too. why I'm on Is this, she? you know, situation because obviously, you know, um, me and Jay are working things out. You feel what gotcha. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, we, we are really in a space where, you know, we are very close. Like, you know what I mean? So we understand exactly what we're dealing with. And, we want to work through that as mm-hmm. far as just healing. And like, if we, if we are our best selves, like we want to give that a try. Yeah, right. You know shot. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So with that being said, you know, Jay and I took a, a break. We were single. Ain't nothing wrong with a break. We were single for two months. Sometimes so it's I giving breaks. Like, I, you know, I, I had some you. questions. I had some questions because, <laughs> you know, I was dealing with a lot of friends. I was dealing with a lot of friends. I was dealing with a lot of friends and I, I'm really still kind of confused. You know, what a break is like to be honest you know what i'm saying because like honestly 
When I'm done with these niggas, I be done with these niggas. It ain't yeah, no breaks. Yeah. It ain't no. I've never done a like, break I'm before. I really, always Yeah, be this like, was my first mm-hmm, time doing yeah. that. Like, typically, like, I'm all in, I'm gone. Yeah, like, and yeah. I mean gone, like, I'm not coming back. Like, yeah, yeah. And no offense, you know, I just want to ask y'all ladies, you know, you know, all my exes spin the block for me, but I be yeah. done with them niggas. They definitely like, you know spin the band. They, yeah, they all spin the band, yeah. right? They definitely be like, mm-hmm. So this is the first dance where I'm really, like, kind of like, all right, you know, we mm-hmm. took a break, but we're going to work it out. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, once a nigga, even if I think you left me to do anything. Yeah. I'm gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it takes all a lot of maturity. Yeah. What is, okay, so what exactly is a break? Okay, so for me, want me to tell you, I'm this time around, because I just recently took a break in my situation as well. Mm-hmm. Okay? But the break was really given, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it wasn't. Okay. Giving, it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't. It, it it did not commence with the undertone of "I will return." Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. It no, was. That was giving. us. Yeah. That was us. That was us. Mm-hmm. We, it was no, no. There was no it, light at the end of the tunnel. There was no light. Break, we all there get back no together. Light. Light. Then you be like, "Oh, we was just on that break." Yeah, like, yeah. There's this no. There's commenced. no. There was. We, it was done. This, this commenced with the idea of. I'm gonna pack my rags and go. Yeah, okay. and, and be done. Be done. Okay. Done. okay. Baby, cause and listen. I was absolutely okay with that. When it came down to actually discussing, possibly rekindling the romance in which I had departed from, <laughs> <laughs> it was giving, okay. look, I'm not coming back till I wanna come back if I mm-hmm. wanna come back. Mm-hmm. And in the interim, since the conditions in which <laughs> right, the, 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 this occur, I mm-hmm. didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you go talk to somebody, you go deal with somebody, somebody tell me you smiled at them a little too wrong, then I'm never coming, coming back. back. Mm. But guess yes. what? I yeah. can do what I want because <laughs> we're on a break. It's your fault we on a break. A period. Okay. So that's what a break is. It's a break. A break is whatever terms you create. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so the like is okay. What are the rules of a break? That has to be you established by out, the parties yeah. involved. Okay, so, so, so what's some rules for you? If you're going to break right now with your man. It depends. Are we rules? saying it depends, we it depends on the break? break. What's what's the depends depends on break? break? Unfortunately, oh it, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? I've been in a relationship on and off for uh, maybe so eight years. Some break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I experienced some Nigga, break. Nigga, I didn't experience some water so, ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it depends on the break. Like if you cheat on me and we on a break, if what I pop this pussy, it's, it's do. Up. What, yeah. is it what you expect me to do? Sit at right. home and just wait for you to get your shit together? No, uh, I think not. No. Mm-hmm. But the double standard is real. Like, yeah. as Bullshit. soon as you tell your man or your break partner, or whatever the case may be, that you are going about your business, mm-hmm. it's it, it yeah. seems like it just falls apart. They yeah. get an attitude and yeah. they can't handle it. Yeah. yeah. Um. There Ego. has been our breaks where we said we are not going to, you know, handle our business that way, this that way. But it hasn't fallen that way. <laughs> Either I stepped out on my word or he stepped out on his. Mm. And, you know, the situation arises where we have broken each other's heart. Yeah. But um, in my current situation, that just happened to work for us. Yeah. It, you know, everybody yeah. ain't the same and everybody's yeah. not going to deal with their pain and their heartbreak the same. Yeah. But I, I was on the phone with Paris, Paris and her man. I was FaceTiming her. He was in the back. He was like, yeah, that was that time you fucked that nigga. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Damn, you know what, Paris? Nah, Paris was like, no, nah, she bah, 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 bah. Can we nah, get a lot for Paris real quick? No. Because I'm proud of you like a motherfucker. You better. Honestly, you better. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this because there's too many women in the world that be taking breaks and be off and on with people. Real. And they dudes be dragging yeah. their nuts, got outside babies, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing all sorts of wild shit in the bitch. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you what Paris said. One man Paris going to Paris yeah. yeah. do this in the camera. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, Ooh. I mean, it's it's like, like, no doubt. I mean, he, he know, he do <laughs> know, <laughs> and he will <laughs> call me <laughs> out on my shit. But he you know, will and call I, me out on my shit. shit. I, I appreciate that shit. That's just that's something I, I appreciate yeah. about their relationship. They're so open with all of their wrongdoings that yeah. they are able to that's actually closeness. joke about it. Yeah, that's and like, and I really appreciate that because that means nobody can embarrass me. No, nobody can embarrass me at this point. Like, you're not gonna say nothing that I don't already know or don't haven't already communicated with my man about. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. that's real. Is, right? And that's, that's and that's a facet that a lot of people don't have in their relationship. Yeah. Like I feel like honestly, when I'm when I'm ready to just be like, look, this is what I'm gonna do. If you don't like it, you can get the yeah. fuck on. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna stay, let mm-hmm. me know where you're gonna be. I'll mm-hmm. come find you when I'm ready. I feel like this last break, that's kind of how I was. I was yeah. just kind of like, look, this is what it's gonna be. Cause what you did, you know what you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at yeah. this point, I'm about to be free to do whatever I want to do. I mean, 
cool. Catch me while you is. can. It is. Yeah. Like, it is. Luckily, yeah. luckily, it was just one of those things where time was on his side. I yeah. couldn't find nobody I wanted to ask. <laughs> <get his> <laughs> it be like that. It be so like that. Come so come back. back. <laughs> Because I'm lonely. Because Aquarius <laughs> women, once we mad, we mad. Right, right, right. right. But you know, you've been honest, touched by age. You've been touched <laughs> by age. But honestly, it's one of those things. Like I feel like that's what the rules of a break is. It's whatever. It's whatever you get by telling me that you're gonna take time off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or and, by and me and having it, to tell you I'm gonna take time. So yeah. sex is allowed, obviously. Sex is allowed depending on who, who you yeah. having sex with. <laughs> who you having sex no, because with? cheating is different. If you cheat on me and we taking a break or we're not together as a result of you cheating, if you fuck somebody, sniff somebody, rub a bitch feet, you're canceled mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. Because okay. you was already doing your thing. In yeah. the situation so in the now place. how do you get a chance I to get do get that. Thing? Right. I, you was yes. already doing yeah. your thing. Now, if I am a victim of said cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I get, get to be victimized. No, if you are a victim of said cheating, said cheating, then in that, that case, I, I get to go yes. for somebody. Say. <laughs> then in that case, if I find somebody that I want to do my thing with, you can't it's be my mad turn. because you yeah, didn't give a shit you, when I was feeling it. it. So are you saying, so, okay. okay, okay, go ahead, Jazz. I'm gonna because let you go. I'm up. just trying to figure out. Because what are we saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what's actually happening? We saying payback's a bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> like, Believe me. No, it's just like, like, real, honestly, <laughs> okay, so um, mm, you can't do mm. anything <laughs> no more. But if I want to, I still can. But you better not do it. You know, like, you know what it is? That's why I don't I don't like healthy. Yeah. So, so is it healthy? It's so confusing. No, it's breaks not, are breaks uh, are not health. Okay, so how how can I put it? I think it's the pretenses of said break. Yes. Like if you if I'm telling you I'm done with you. Yeah. If somehow you're able to send a message up to God and he assists you with getting me back, <laughs> then whatever I do in the right, process man. of that, it's going to have to come with me. Okay. That baggage is going to have to come with me. That's yeah. what I mean by mm-hmm. if I have sex or if I do this or I do something yeah. that's going to break your heart. Look, we not together. So I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. It's it's very mixy. I'm dealing with a Gemini. Okay. God bless your soul. She deals with a Gemini for eight years. I don't understand. But she's a Virgo. She can handle it. That's what I told her. What did I tell you? I she said did. she has a he lot did. more patience My than I do. My husband is a Virgo. <laughs> oh. So here's the thing, right? Yeah, so, Virgo men are a different so story. So yeah. Gemini is what mm-hmm. I have learned. Y'all gotta They're explain almost, to me. <laughs> you, gonna, you need to pay attention to the signs. Because <laughs> the signs is explain there. And it, me. The signs is there. So the thing sure. about what I've learned about Geminis, right? They are so honest. They're honest to a fault. They will so, be rude okay. about oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah. your feelings on it. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, on this set break, you know what I'm saying? Like, Uh-oh. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, I just want I just want to make a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make a disclaimer yeah, right do. fucking now. I just want to be the disclaimer right fucking now. If all you bitches was consoling my nigga while we was on a break. <laughs> Why well, gotcha. um, trigger for me? Gotcha. <laughs> It's the violence for me. So, but all that to say, so you know, but hold on, niggas be knowing what they doing. Oh, like, yeah. oh, definitely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see Absolutely. the episode and come out. I am like, prime real estate. <laughs> Because <laughs> girls was landing on my lily pad while we was on a break Look, and they was trying to tell me. So That's so funny. Cause I thought about that. I was like, I feel like he's Hyping it up, nigga. I know you, nigga. You ain't mm-hmm. <laughs> out here. Look, really wild. Don't bitches but don't I don't know, know. I don't you know. said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you said. <laughs> <laughs> Bad enough to. I am screaming. Right. So <laughs> the nigga, the nigga oh, Jay man. say to me like, you know, so we on a break. He was like, you know, I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, I've been entertaining. So I said, okay, cool, like, mm. cool. You know, oh, you saying? Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> the entertainer. You got a job. job. So you're Bernie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's giving Def Jam. Okay, okay. comedy okay. show. Okay. Yes. Apollo. So you know, it's so crazy because like I. W- I wasn't bothered because we were on a break. Right. And I also had it in my mind. I said, okay, baby, well, here's the thing. You are entertaining. I'm not entertaining right now, but if something comes across the door, that's fine as hell. And that, that, that was what I, I said. Then the opportunity is I open, said. right? Yeah. Okay. So my question is like, you know, I feel like, you know, like I said, like Jay's like overly honest. He's like, look, I just want, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, you know, we are on a break, you know what I'm saying? And I've been carrying it single. We've been single for two months. Like, you know what I mean? Because we had a long break. But you mm-hmm. know what? That also kind of rushed you to guilty? get your shit together. 
It does. Dudes be trying to rush you to yeah. decide. Decide, bitch. Yeah. I love you. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yes. right. But if not, I'm going to keep fucking That's these bitches. Right. You better hurry yeah. up. You better yeah. hurry yeah. up. Because all these bitches going to get this do dick you, if you don't. Like, what? Bitch? What? Do you feel I'm guilty back. about Sorry. the stuff that you do on your break? No. Or Only if I have like, intentions of getting back. Or Ooh. it's like, oh, well, he don't know he'll be all right. No. I, so here's the thing. I, I, I do be feeling lie, guilty. Because I'm going to say something crazy. I do be feeling guilty get, look, if I still care you about are, them. You are in I, a record. I have really, cared about my I'm man. I'm trying to be like Paris. I, 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 I have to, genuinely open, cared baby, about my man baby, look, every step the of the way of our any break. Out, so, don't you know, say nothing to incriminate yourself. But you're a gangster, That's why I respect you. Virgos are gangster like that. No, no, because she really don't give a fuck. Like, it's an open case. I, I absolutely so love my man open case and the relationship no, no, steps I'm, that I'm, we have right. been in. I'm but cool um, I, I didn't feel bad while I was doing it because it was brought upon yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't start this situation. Yeah. So when I had to arise, then I didn't. <laughs> I did not give Wait, a I damn. Just want to talk I, like like I got to say something. I'm laughing because it's the way that women talk about us doing our thing is like when I had to arise. <laughs> that entanglement. <laughs> yes. When I had to arise. I just feel like the same way that we should all, like we keep it real. The same real way that we should all give yeah, ourselves Yeah. We, we de- women deal with a lot of guilt. Society Always. puts a lot of guilt on Always. us. Like you should feel guilty. You're a mom. You can't wear that. You're somebody's yeah. girlfriend. You're somebody's woman. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. You You're on a break. You people. better not. You looked at the camera too sexy. Right. You're saying right. this. This is slutty behavior. You right. were late. You were this. You were that. It's yeah. so many things. Yeah. The world yeah. says that we should do better. We should be better. We should not be doing. Yes, right. mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it's feel like honestly to just be clear, it feels good to be like, hey, I didn't cause this. I didn't do this. This is not yeah. my fault. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna drag my nuts yeah. and be okay with it. Yeah, and I'm gonna be okay with it. Yeah. I'm gonna be okay with it. Yeah. I mean, I the feel, heartbreak afterwards is. What you I gotta feel like do we it. evolving a little bit though. Like we've been yeah, holding we've been, men way yeah. more accountable. Like, yeah. bitch, you're not the yeah. only one bringing in money. I can't right. right. talk right. about it. So right. you're gonna have to deal with what I deal with. Just yeah. like I, I have, have to, to deal, deal with, with you. you. And yeah. I think that's Absolutely. fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. And you know what? I think what's more important than money? Audacity. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Now yeah. don't because it's not an all time high. Listen, it's not an all time high with these men. And the thing about it is that when women start to gather their audacity mm-hmm. and put it in their purses and put their purses on, mm-hmm. it's it's different because men be having it's a whole, whole bunch of vibe. audacity. They be like, yeah, hmm, I, I did that. Mm-hmm. And this is how I feel. And if mm-hmm. you do that while we working on this because I caused it, then I'm not dealing with you I'm no more. Yeah. Like They'll give you an yeah. ultimatum like you did something, right? When you start having an audacity, be like, look, I don't care what happens. Yeah. To you. I'm going to be okay. Yeah. And they the start the saying, day. wait, wait. Yeah. 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 Because mm-hmm. you need audacity too. You need yeah. audacity and you need confidence in yeah. whatever you're in more than you need any material thing. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Fast. so true. It's so true. Um, And I think that like men respond actually better to that. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. It's, it's, just like the more, it's like the they more get, assertive yeah. you are, they're they like, give you a different energy. Absolutely. Yeah. The meaner yeah. that I am to these men, they the love that they are. They love it. And I'd be like, wow, I don't even have to. Love nice to you my husband, I was very rude to him on our first day. I don't even know why he took me on a second date. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's confusing. But I was they, like, look, I'm, it, you you asking me for a day? Are you going? I mean, are you? Because he was trying to fake a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was like, look, somebody else is on my other line asked me to go out. So it's between you and them. You, you need to call me back and let me know. What is it? Yeah, it's going to be. I want to go out. me. Okay, okay. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Listen, sometimes you got to put them in that predicament. And then the ones that you're the nicest to, they drag you. Drag. Oh, my God. I told it's you it's so much nice. you're nicest to. Like, they it's like, so sabotage. It's like, what the Dread. fuck, bro? I'm being nice to you. Why are you treating me like because that? Like, you must wow. be defective and if you know you're respectful. What? Yeah. And you know what? I really heavily golf that. I think that's a term. I and really I, and I felt do. that. And I felt hey, that in my soul. And I felt that. Because no, it's no, like. No. No. It's like. Yo, why are you? I'm just nice for me. Why are you trying to play with me, nigga? <laughs> Fuck you talking about I am just crying. for me. Yeah. Okay. It's giving dark and lovely it's for giving, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay? Mm. Like, don't play. It's giving Hawaiian silky for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian silky, not the bitch. It's oh. giving Gorilla Glue slick. Don't play. Oh. Okay? okay? Don't play. I'm sliding on that motherfucker. Seriously. Yeah. There's something about it. And mm-hmm. I think that's like my problem, though. Like, so, you know, something. Like, I just came to this new analogy. Like, you know, I'm aggressive. Yeah. Mm. But I like that. But, I like that. but I'm aggressive <laughs> yeah. in a good Like, I feel like men like it 
But they don't like it when they don't like it. You get yes. what I'm saying? Like, yes. so they like my mama love say, it. same thing make you happy, make you sad. Okay. Yeah. yeah, same thing that yep. make you laugh, yeah. make you cry. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. It is. And I feel like they love it because I'm assertive. I know what I want. I'm very straightforward. Yes. Mm-hmm. I ain't taking no shit. So are you be shooting your shot? I have shot my shot. Yes. I have too. I, I have shot my shot. I'm not, I'm not. Like, it was like, the I'm worst that I ever got. I was about to say, I yeah. feel like when you do that, then they feel like they got one up. Yeah. Right? Listen, yeah. So, but yes. here's the thing. You start in the next way. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't shoot you do. my you shot, do. though, often, though. Like, like in my single, like, in my single ways, like, I, I got to really think something of you for me to shoot my shot. Yeah. So, it's really not a, like, a... Uh, Every day, like, oh, I'm just out here. Like, yeah. it got, I got to see that, like, God. I got to see that. Damn, he didn't see me, so he going to see me yeah. now. Like, yeah, I've been there. It got to be something like that. But, like, I'm not about to just, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I got to really see a nigga. I'm like, I'm never going to see him again, and mm-hmm. I got to do this right now. Yeah, like, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mm-hmm. scared of that. Like, and nah, then I'm, I'm Aquarius, so sometimes I like I like the chase, too. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's another thing that doesn't get spoken about enough because women are also not accountable accountable about the fact that they like to chase as well. Yeah, absolutely. They like to be chased, but they also yeah. like to chase. Any man who just sit there, oh, it's whatever you want to do, babe. It's oh, yeah, it's a, yeah. it's, it's a turn off. It's a turn off. Like, uh-uh, he just too ready. Like yeah, he's ready. Just, no. yeah. yeah. You, you know. want a little bit of tug, a little bit of pulse, a little yeah. something. That just brought me to something. I literally just seen, um, you know, it was a reality TV show that went around. And they were talking about like a more better male, a more better male. Yeah. And he, they were calling him like he wasn't aggressive enough. He wasn't like, you know, assertive enough. So mm-hmm. they sent him home. I'm gonna get back to you on what it's okay. called because okay. I've seen it like on another uh, gossip site. Okay. Got so basically, you. what was happening is they were like, oh, he's so fine, like he's so nice, but he's just not aggressive. He's mm-hmm. not assertive. So my question is to that, like. Do you think that, do, like, what type of male do you need? Like, so me, I know I need an aggressive nigga because you got to really be able to mm-hmm. put your foot down with me. I'm mm-hmm. not a type of woman that I could have, like, a person like, oh, yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, mm-hmm. baby. Like, yeah, I don't like that either. Call me bitch. Call me bitch. Choke me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, choke me, bitch. Get your ass over here. I'm right. I'm not really like a yes, baby. Like, yeah. I'm not that person. Yeah. Like, I'm honest about yeah. that, though. Like, I need him. You know what I'm saying? My nigga from Baltimore, I need a stupid ass dummy. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I need yeah. that every once yeah. in a while. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it's a pro and a con to that. Because sometimes I'm like, nah, like, bro, Relax. be nice to me, bro. You know yeah. what I think I yeah. need? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I need, I need him. I, like, I feel like for me, I feel like all the men that I need in a lot of women need is a guy who understands finesse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when I say finesse, I don't mean trick you out of yeah. anything. Finesse. Yes. Finesse means ease of use, ease of operation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you really got finesse, you know what you, you know what is needed in the time. I need a master. Okay. Of femininity. I need somebody that's going to be like, hey, hey, yo, like, did we already talk about this? Yeah. So why are we still talking about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you really? need some, do you need something for me from me? Yeah. You some dick. Yeah. Come here. I need to talk to you. And Bend I need over. Like, and I need, I need whatever yeah. he says or yeah. whatever command he's offering yes. or asserting to me at yes. that time. I need it to make him be like, but I'm just saying, like, I don't really like. If <laughs> yes. I feel like I no, because I'm da, 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 da. Yeah. not doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I need a I need a I need, you know, a a a a a master of Femininity yeah, is gonna like be like you understand it. Like he gonna be like, look, already. I bought you something else. I don't want you with it. Mm. Hey, you got time? Let me take you to the school. I don't like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now that's gonna make me change my clothes. You telling me that's- I don't want my girl over it? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excuse you me. You come in to me incorrectly. I need somebody who knows how to operate me, how to work me. Yes, that's real though. That's real. I can't say he needs to have that's this real. much, this, this much. Yeah. I just need him to be able to read me so well. Read. Mm-hmm. But he knows that what does is come with time, it though. Does. Yeah. It does. And that's with why I'm patient. Lot of time. That's why I'm patient. That's why it's very important to find willingness in a person. Yes. Yeah. And then dedicate. A little bit of patience. Right. Mm-hmm. And then also, like I said, it goes back to the discernment on what male do you give that amount of time yeah. to? Because if you choose to wrong, they will waste to continue. Your time. Okay, so like, being uh, on that, <laughs> yes, because my <laughs> my first baby father, don't get me wrong, he was he was amazing, but I put a mic up. Oh, Sorry. my fault. No, 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 you're fine. Um, first baby father, he is an amazing guy. Don't get me wrong, but he is a yes man. 
And I oh, that ain't gonna work for no Virgo. Virgo yeah, see the little yeah, tug and pull. I don't yeah. want that. I don't need that. Yeah. I need a man to be like, no, you're going here, or no, I need this and that and whatever yes, else daddy. it may be. Right? Yeah, yes, I yes, need that daddy. because that's just gonna turn me off. And then once it turns me off, then you want to what stray. relationship do we have? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah. but that's real though. Like yeah. that's real. Yeah. Nah, I'm um, sure. My husband is a Virgo, and I will speak today. You guys are very similar with that. I feel like when I'm like, nah, we're doing this. Yeah, and he and he African. He very much so know how to run the show yeah. outside of the house, mm-hmm. but in the yeah. house, and I'm like, no, we need great tomatoes. Don't bring no Roma tomatoes. In here. Ooh, yeah, Ooh. it's giving <laughs> okay. The little ones, I'm gonna see the picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's more of yeah. an interaction. Then. Yeah, if I'm like, did I? I didn't ask you for that. It's like. Well, I didn't know what to get. Yeah, I'm gonna the, just give you the, the money next time. Yeah. Now, now we know how to interact. But mm-hmm. I feel like when I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Life gets hard. You don't for get me. the response yeah. that you need. Yeah. I don't yeah. get anything. Absolutely. I need. Then it's yeah. like, well, I just I brought you said tomato, so I brought it. Then it then it turns into a well, you never correct me, so how dare you correct me? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So you got to be a little aggressive with Virgos. I will yeah. say that. Yeah. I will say that they like that. They appreciate the, the aggressiveness. Yeah. Because yeah. they gonna yeah. try you, so you better try them oh, just a little bit. <laughs> Accountability. So, before you got out here, I just want to touch on this topic because, you know, the girls is here and I want to hear what the girls got to say. Yes. Portia Williams. Oh, God. Oh, mm-hmm. child. <laughs> the fact that every single one of us had a sound to make. Hide your Hide your Hide your Shit, your wives too. Fuck it. Yeah, you your wives too. Bitches, if you they know, got a little coin movie. at this point. So, for those who don't know, I typically have a screen up in front of me, so I got to read from my phone because that's not what I have going on right now. It's giving and mini teleprompter. The Bravo <laughs> reality star, age 39. Thank you, Alex. Um, <laughs> confirmed her relationship with Simon. I don't know how to say this nigga's last name. Gubadia. That, 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 that was, yeah, that was a good pronunciation. That was pretty yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> Simon Guabadia, Guabadia, the ex of Williams <laughs> co-star Fallon it's the one. Guabadia. It's the Guabadia. One. Okay, <laughs> she like um, Fallon G. Simon right. G. Go so yeah, basically, Portia is dating her ex co-stars ex husband. Well, they're not fully divorced. Janky. Right? Boom. It is. Um, Very you know, she quoted our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. She wrote alongside a selfie with her man. OK, I know it's fast, but we are living each day to its fullest. Listen. I choose happiness every morning and no, every choose night. choose violence every morning. <laughs> yeah, every right in the, uh, tuning out like that. <laughs> tuning out all negativity. <laughs> It's always the bitches doing, doing shit. Doing doing neg- negativity. <laughs> tuning out all the negative energy. And only focused on positive wishes. He makes me so happy. And to me, that is what matters the most. Listen, um, all men make you happy the first 30 days of the trial period. So, okay. You know, so here's my thing with this. When they posted the clip of when Portia went with Fallon to her home. Yeah, and, and they were smoking husband, a hookah. Mm-hmm. And they were smoking yeah. hookah <laughs> and having a whole vibe. <laughs> my question to that is really on girl code. Okay. It was violated in this case. I believe okay, so. I have a question. This is got, a case for the FBI. Docket number <laughs> two, five, four, seven, <laughs> seven. What's, what's, what's uh, SUVs? Um, <laughs> doom, doom. <laughs> what's a heinous car. <laughs> doom, doom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely yeah. giving law and order like oh, shit. Boy. It's given. I need Olivia Pope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Olivia okay. Pope. Olivia Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Bitch, I need a both. <laughs> I need both Olivia's. I need it's both Olivia's. It's giving a two for at this point. It's, exactly. It's handled. It's <laughs> <laughs> so all that to say, what do y'all feel about bringing your men around female acquaintances? I'm not going to say friends because I feel like I know my friends. Like yeah. My friends yeah. Saying, mm-hmm. yeah. Go by my At nigga. this now, age, if you don't know who your friends right. are, you, gotta go you got a like, real like, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I'm right. the type yeah. of bitch. Like, I ain't going to lie. My nigga, my friends get into a relationship. That nigga is instantly like, it's like carp. Uh, compartmentalized. Yeah, like, it's like he's automatically unattractive. Yeah, yeah. uninterested. He's blubber like, at that like, point. I don't even. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. even look at you the same. Yeah. 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 I don't even. I don't even think I look at him in his okay. face at that point unless yeah. I'm like, spoken to. I'd yeah. be like, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking at so you. So that's why I say acquaintances. Yeah, because I think acquaintances are important because you know we know a lot of females mm-hmm. like we. No hi, hey girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got a lot of hey booze mm-hmm. and all yeah. these things, and you know we mix and we mingle and we mm-hmm. network, yeah. right? And then we 
got our men around these women that really don't have a lot of respect or regard for us on the back end if they're yeah. interested. They feel, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? How would you feel? And I'm going to go around. Okay. <laughs> How would you feel? Boom. I bring my female acquaintance around my man and a month later before we're even there talking about they're in love. Let me pour up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because it just don't make no sense. <laughs> you. It's my cup. There will. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. There will never be a time for me where 30 days is enough to be like, oh, I'm so in love with this person. We're going to get married. I'm sorry. It's just not enough time for me. How? Like, how you? How do you know that person? How do you know how that person man. lives? How do you know how that person lives? She didn't know him. Face yesterday. Turns I mean, out yeah, that, she knew the bank know. account. <laughs> yeah, that's all you know. You know that bank account. The numbers you know up. what he looked like. And I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. At, at that point, it's just words. At that point, it's, it's just words. words. It's just words. Um, okay, so here's the thing. And... It all goes back to that big A word we discussed when we first started up the pod, right? Uh, Which was accountability. accountability. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Listen. We hate that word. If your man <laughs> is going to run wanna... off, if your man is going to run Ooh. off with any Shirley, Barbara, or Tiffany, okay. you got yeah. bigger problems. Yeah. Right? Shit. And Fact. that's how I feel. Like, yeah. I feel like me being the type of woman that I am, I don't ever want to feel like I'm in shackles about where I go, who I'm around, yeah. what I do, mm-hmm. because my man yeah. might run off on me. Yeah, yeah. like, honestly, let's just be clear. Like, yeah, men, they kind of a little janky with the temptation They're part. Like, they janky. can't really handle it. Like, every single one of them. Very because janky. our picking schedule is different. Like, yeah. we pick based off of what we're not getting that we Come on. want. Right. Men kind of pick off of what she you giving me that ass. I like. It's different. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes they do get a little sidetracked and they make bad <laughs> decisions. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. And that's fine. Right. But when it comes to bringing them around or sharing space with other women, it's giving, try me. No. Oh, Let's okay. see what you get. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm never going to be mad at the woman yeah. and want me to tell you why. Yeah. Because if I was you, I'd do that too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but I'm not. So I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. You know, some people just vibrate on kind of like a lower sphere. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I don't have it and she has it. If I, he's gonna, I want it. And if yeah. he's going to have me, then I'm going to take, take it. it. Mm-hmm. You remember yeah. that Facebook option that will give you a relationship? Like, I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> married, hey, yo. divorced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's kind of mm-hmm. like that. Like, some people take what they can get. Yeah. It's like giving, oh, I'm at this point and I want a man and her man looking at me, then I'm taking part time. Right. Right. It's better than no time. Yeah. Right. I'm not you trying bitches to are do the bum. Yes. <laughs> yes. It won't be I, me. I, 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 I don't know where you're coming yeah, from, but I'm it won't sorry. be me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It won't be, it won't be me, me. But if yeah. you're like a sloppy It's very second. disgusting yeah. for me. I would never, I'm a woman's woman. Yeah. And yeah. how I feel is like, I'm never going into it thinking, one of y'all will fuck my man. Because I'm not thinking that. Yeah. I would never your man. child, that's your man. I would never fuck yours. Maybe, like, even if I was cool with him before you, maybe we're cool, but I would never cross that line because yeah. I know what it feels like to be hurt and I would yeah. never want to inflict mm-hmm. that type of pain on any exactly. other woman. Right. So him coming around, it's like, come around. But right. if y'all do some stuff that violates the agreement that you and I had, I'm yeah. mad at you because right. you're the only person that made an agreement. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The exactly. other woman is not. Yeah. Whether she does something that is unsavory yeah. in, in regards to me and my feelings, mm-hmm. yeah. fuck her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about you, you. because yeah. you Point made a promise right. to me. Right. You yeah. made a commitment right. to me. So that's how I feel. I feel yeah. like yeah, honestly, it gets tricky, especially when we live in a society that is so uh, kind of like we're built on a foundation yeah. of like envy. Yeah. yeah. Especially with yeah. Instagram and stuff. It's oh, like, oh, yes. she got that man. He buying her this. Yeah. He doing this. They doing that. Yeah, yeah. The lifestyle take is me, this way, me, this pick way. Pick me, pick me, I'm working mm-hmm. motherfucking 80 hours yes. a week to make my life the way that yeah. it is. Yeah. If I just hit him, maybe he'll do for me what he and does for her. So like off my back. And guess what? These bitches be human. Mm. You know, it's like, dang, I understand feeling like that. But guess what? If he do some stuff on me with you, you gonna have to keep him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he stuck with you now. Period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If I bring that. you around some people and you dealing with some of my people, baby, y'all stuck together. Yeah. And that's on you. Listen, that's your problem. wallow, yeah. wallow in hell together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, listen. <laughs> I mean, okay. So I'll speak to the the single version of Jasmine, and I feel like you know, you date, you go mm-hmm. out, you mingle, da da da. da. None of these niggas is mine. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I agree with you on that. None when I was single, I felt the yeah, same way. And, and that's why I said I can only speak to the single part right. because obviously when I'm in a relationship, I, I, you know, yeah. hold you to yeah. a different standard. Yeah. I would never even think twice about my friends right. touching a nigga. Because right. yeah. you know better. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, right. it, that ain't happening. Associates right. is a different thing, but in the single life, look, none of these things. <laughs> I know, yeah. like, like it's just and my if it's turn. anybody that mm-hmm. you see me on a date with or talking to, if I don't talk to him no more, I don't have nothing yeah. to do yeah. with him. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Sure. leave me yeah. out of it. Leave yeah, me yeah. Out of it. it's not I don't my responsibility. Even be associate yeah. with yeah. Yeah. men in yeah. the first yeah. place, so though. I'm never going to be like, oh, so you was out with it. And I think that's the part that gets tacky. Jasmine be speaking on the real juicy parts because I feel like that's the part that gets tacky. Like, why are you asking about some man that he's not committed to you? Don't ask about him. And if he agree to go with you, then I don't mean that much to him in the first place. But guess what? You know what that is? You know what that is? Personal accountability. Real yeah. Shit. And Real a lot shit. of women not personally accountable. They be like, but he was with me. He was Baby. with all of us. Baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was so can you just be honest man. about what this is? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's not That's anybody. I'm honestly... It's, it sounds crazy to some people, but I'm honestly to the point where, like, if you want to fuck with one of my exes and we sit in the same room, I already had him. I don't yeah. care about him. And that's what I know. It is what it is. I yeah. know what all his defects are. Okay. Yeah. Have fun. Like, Have fun. You, good luck. Good, good luck. luck. <laughs> yeah, like, good luck. Like, I good don't care. care. Wishing you well. Okay? Yeah. I, no, I, seriously. No, seriously. It's, it's like I don't care. If that man yeah. is not my husband, that's why yeah. I said the yeah. Portia Williams, that case is different because that man was my husband. Yes. 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 So I yes. got to beat you're your wild. ass. Yes. Like, you're, you're wild. wild. And you're you know wild. what's crazy? Like, I'm I'm always listen, I might like, got to beat your ass. It's I'm not a you're wild. Right. Yeah. It's a, I'm mad. <laughs> I might it's giving that. diary of a mad black woman. <laughs> and it's yeah, because I just don't understand. Prior to a this, mad mixed race woman. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy because prior to this, I typically like Portia. Um, I didn't really understand this too well because, like, you know, like just in hindsight, I do have a lot of female acquaintances around me. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to process. How it would be if a female acquaintance came and like, I'm in love with your nigga. Y'all been but, done but, for like But a he month. would have had to allow it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So like, exactly. Yeah. So in your point, like, you really can't be mad at the female. It's like, baby, you. Yeah. You come here. Yeah. 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 Come here. You the only person I have yeah, an agreement I have with. Yes. Like, yeah. nobody, yeah. nobody else. You. Um, and, you know, I'm not mad at Portia. But I also feel like it's a certain lot of level of accountability women have to do take with themselves when they are putting themselves out here like that. Mm-hmm. Like, to be honest, I wouldn't be in this situation yeah. because, like, to be honest, I don't really want a nigga fresh out of nothing. Yeah. It's giving like, real shit. Yeah. Like, it's really giving Jordan trauma. ones. Like, I, don't I don't want your situation. Yeah. You have yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> I don't want no, your situation. You. And, like, realistically, like, I don't want a nigga who's fresh out of anything. Yeah. To be honest. And that's like, because, because you know what they're going to do? Let me tell you. Spin a bin. Yep. They spin they a always bin. Spin yeah. Five, you got to always ten, consider what twelve, happened with yeah. you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I know if I left that nigga a week ago, he just ate my pussy yesterday. Yeah. You know okay. Oh, that's all I'm saying. 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 This morning. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. This like, morning. I don't know if you want that work. Like, Hashtag if you want that product, this morning. This <laughs> hat. I said, I ain't trying to be petty. I'm, I'm just crying. saying. Like, I'm just saying. So I don't want no nigga fresh off of no old pussy, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I want my nigga. They going back. PH they going back. I want, my, I want my nigga on a healing journey. Yeah. You want your healing journey? Yeah. You a couple months out. Like, I've been ridding myself of toxic energy. That yeah. bitch was toxic. Uh-huh. I haven't talked to her in five, six, seven, eight months. Yeah. Because yeah, He's a baby. So a sh- and I need proof. I do. <laughs> I do. Because I, niggas I love be lying. I let niggas be lying. And niggas I be lying. lying. I mean, if you had a baby mother, you were strong, Ooh. lady. Yeah. That's all let I'm gonna say. say. Because dudes you. be loving their baby mamas. They dudes do. be loving their first love. Mm. Like nah. All all types, be like, all niggas types love their yes. abortion yes. baby mamas too. Uh uh. No. It's giving back. Niggas love their abortion baby mamas too. Oh yeah. Every single one of them. You just baby daddy too. I just say yes. <laughs> These niggas just love baby mamas at any capacity. I'm just, <laughs> anybody they nut it in, they love they love with. Like, they, they love with. Oh my god, y'all ladies, so ladies, ladies, he my ladies. baby daddy too. <laughs> the baby, the you baby, just didn't know it, it was only given twelve weeks. It was, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, it, it didn't even hey, make uh, it. I gotta but, get out of here. <laughs> It dead, didn't even make dead. it, but, but oh, however, I'm his baby mama's. Oh, we got thrown It was my god. So it crazy. was listen. It was conceptualized. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and it departed. <laughs> so it was there. All at the same time. Yeah. The test had, was positive. The test period. So look, look, the plus sign the part. What after that? It doesn't matter. The that plus sign part. Five years later. It and we been argued been about it. He came and he asked me what we going to do. <laughs> so I'm his baby mama too. And he's not mad about it because he actually was upset about right. it. Exactly. He said we could be a family. Oh, How did you We a family. Why did you do that to us? Ladies, I appreciate y'all so much for rocking with the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Like, Always. Oh, honestly, y'all were it's such a vibe. A vibe. It is. It um, is, we're is still, toxic. It was toxic as fuck. We're gonna you need a little toxic. Line. Yeah. I want to thank everybody who is going to watch, who has yes. watched. Yes. We love y'all. We yes. thank y'all. We shout love out to y'all. Jay. Shout out mm-hmm. to the team. Damn. Shout out to Lante, the bass guy. Hey. Shout out to Lante. the building. Yes. Alex, Gio, the Leo, <laughs> motherfucking, um, I'm sorry, it's so many of us on the team. I'm so sorry. Sherm, um, what the fuck? It's Everybody, 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 everybody,